living in the critical times, spiritually speaking. Remember the families there, I believe it was in Texas? And before Texas shooting, it was another part of the country, in Buffalo, New York. You know, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, friends and enemies, you expect things to get better? It won't. One of God says, evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Deceiving and being deceived, the only thing that's reliable all the time is God. And what the Lord said will come to pass. The senseless killing that is taking place. The amount of homicides right here in Philadelphia alone. Yeah. Children are killing each other, have no regard for life. Driving by, just shooting, a woman can be out pushing a shopping cart, minding her business. In a few seconds, she lay in a pool of blood. Yeah. Two innocent little girls can be playing devil Dutch, or sitting on these steps, playing with their doll baby. Next few minutes, the mother going to be at the morgue. Father can be leaving off work after leaving <coughs> a long day task working because he loves his family. Now they make it home. Wife get a call. Got to come identify this body. This is the time when we live in. All the sickness and chaos and madness is in the world. Yet the devil still sent men who trick the human family into believing this is heaven. This is not heaven. Let me show you this world. Second Corinthians chapter 4, if you will. Second Corinthians chapter 4. Again, verse 3. I read verse 3. All right, follow me. Second Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 3. Yes. But if our gospel be hid. If our gospel. Amen. Glory to God be hid. It is hid. It is hid to, to them that are lost. If you can't see what the apostles preach. The Bible is showing you the stage that you're in right now. It is hid to them that are lost. If you can't see the teaching of Jesus that he gave his apostles, if you can't see it, you're in a lost state. Religion, politicians, sinners, men abs, poor folk, born or free. And this is the reason why you can't see it. In whom the God of this world. What? In whom the God of this world. Not the God of heaven. No. But the God of this world, the God of this domain. Hath, what did he do, Williams? Hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Ah, that's the reason why you can't see it, because you don't believe it, and your unbelief gives the devil freedom to blind you. That's right. Blind the minds of them that believe not less. The light of the glorious gospel of Christ. Less the light of the glorious gospel of Christ should. Who is the image who of God. Is God image. Should shine unto them. Glory to God. That's it. That's it. The God of this world. The God of this world. Have blinded the unbeliever. That's right. And you take anybody that's blind. I want you to hear me good. It is in them. Him or her to fight, yeah. rebel, That's right. show intense hatred That's right. towards scripture because they're blind to it. They don't understand it. Right. And when they don't understand it, right away they become defensive. Yeah. And when they are defensive, they feel as though you're picking on them. That's true. I ain't never met. No robber who was caught by a cop told him, told him, man, I'm glad you caught me. That's right. And then hugged him. No, he run, duck, dodge. Yeah. That's 
house where the sinner is about God. That's right. The difference is, cop got to chase you. You may outrun him. Man, I've seen on the news where <laughs> I remember I was watching one news report. You know, when I came up, cops had to be in shape. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, what is worse? That's the way it was when I was a child. When I was a child, cops had to be in shape, brother. And when you go running, jumping over a fence, they was right behind you. <laughs> so I was watching. It was funny. I think I was we was in the kitchen, and I uh, was watching the telecast on YouTube, and you know how they have things on the side. And they had on the side our uh, robber outrun policeman. So I wanted to see what it was. It was about three or four or five policemen. And it was one guy. And he was moving, you know, running. You know, we played football in the hood. And you know, when you get that ball, you fake him out. And you shake him off. This one guy shook off five policemen. I mean, you ever see you ever seen a ball game when a fella's dribbling and he shake his opponent off so well the opponent fall. Yeah. Brother, you fall, you saw blue uniforms tripping, stumbling, and falling, and the guy wasn't running fast. <laughs> and when he got away, he just ran and turned around and looked and laughed. <laughs> they was out of shape. Out of shape. <laughs> well, you may do that. To the policeman. Right. But you will never be able to dodge God. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So whenever the human family hear us speak against sin, That's right. you become defensive, yet in your heart you know you're being told the truth. That's right. So why is it you become so defensive and offended? Offended. It is only because you're not ready to get right, yet you know you need to get right. That's right. You know, you know, folk don't like to be told about their wrong. No. No, I mean, just go back and look at when we were children. We know we done things wrong. <laughs> Who here wanted to get caught? Raise your hand. Well, we all in the greens. That's right. Ain't nobody wanted to get caught. Sometimes when your mother and father was coming and you had something in your hand that you shouldn't have, you threw that thing under the pillow, under the bed. They told you not to get that candy. You threw it in your mouth. That's true. Because you were young and naive. That's forgot right. Forgot to realize when you had it in your mouth, it brought about a certain facial expression. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Mama said, what's that you got in your mouth? And you look right at her. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What's that in your mouth? Mm-mm. <laughs> That's right. You got caught. I got caught. Now, viewers, you need that to hear. The time wherein we live, it's a time called grace. Yes. And the third chapter of the book of Ephesians, of Ephesians, the apostle Paul said, I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, follow me and get me. In Ephesians chapter 3 and we're at verse 1. That's what? For this cause, I, Paul, the For prisoner. For this cause. I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ. Hold it. Paul was in all ways a prisoner of Jesus. One time he was a prisoner of Satan. That's right. Now I'm pretty sure many that are here that are watching can identify with this. That's right. If you've ever been in jail, naturally, mm-hmm. you get a number. Never mind if your name, what they call you in the hood. In the prison system, you're 523666. That's right. That's That's right. right. Or they can call you, Mr. 523666. You can go to the ward and say, look, where I'm from, they call me Slim. 532666. That's right. In other words, they're stripping you of your self 
identity. Yeah. Are you getting me? And you're just a number. Put on the uniform that that prison system demands. That's right. You'll go in your cell when they said so. You allow X amount of time in the shower. And it may not be every day. It's true. You allow X amount of time in the yard. And you have to follow orders. Oh, yes. Or your sentence can be extended and your stay can become more unpleasant. That's right. They say you get out on good behavior. That's what they say. <laughs> when you are paroled, depending upon how long you were in, if you're in there 20, 30, 40, 50 years, now you have to deal with being institutionalized. That's right. Being institutionalized is the reformation of your mind. You're no longer an outside thinker. You're an inside thinker. That's right. And when you're physically let out, your mind is still in. And for some, it is hard for them to adapt to the outside world. Because now the prison that they resented, now they depend on it. That's right. Don't know how to survive in the free world. As a result of such, some deliberately commit a crime. It could be something small. Just so they can go back. That's right. Because they're more comfortable there. Yeah. Are you listening? That's right. Yes. We have become comfortable. We have become institutionalized from sin. That's right. In other words, the bondage that Satan have you in, mentally, emotionally, and physically, because what the mind think, what the heart feel, the body displays in this behavior. That's right. Are oh, you listening to the old man? That's right. So the murderers and rapers and extortioners and liars and thieves, commandment breakers, yeah. are inmates of Satan. That's right. That's true. The word of God is here to parole you. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. God wants to undo everything. Hear me good. What the devil had done to us. That's right. All of us are mental, emotional, physical, spiritual victims. That's right. Of Satan's deception. Amen. Somewhere in our life. Oh, yes. All of us were Satan prisoners. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Inmates in captivity. Mind was in bondage. That's why you only thought foolishness. Foolishness. Because your mind was in bondage. That's right. And when the righteous intelligence of God was brought to you, because our foolish mind exempted foolish behavior, yeah. what did we do when we brought when God thoughts and God intents and God's mind was brought to us, yeah. we rebel. That's right. That's right. Why do we rebel? Give me Isaiah quickly. Isaiah. This is why we rebel. Because our thoughts is not like God's That's thoughts. That's right. Our mind, yeah man, is not like God's mind. That's right. Yeah. God's mind is infallible. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's right. Flawless. Oh, yes. No error. Sure. He had no shortcoming. That's right. No darkness in him at all. No, no sin. No. no instability. That's right. God mind. The God's mind is the true definition of what clean is. Yes. That's right. Are you listening? In Isaiah 55 and at verse 8. Follow me, you that are here, you that are watching. 
Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 8. All right. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. God's talking here. Amen. You said up. God don't think like you. No. And when God sent a preacher, he don't sound like you. That's right. You don't sound like none of the preachers that's out here. No. When God sent one. No. The devil preachers all sound the same. That's right. Because they got the devil's motives and they got the devil objective. That's why if you turn your television on, the preacher to say the same thing. Money, 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 prosperity, prosperity, prosperity. Yeah. Touch it and claim it. That's the Salem's inmates. That's right. That's right. Salem's inmates. That's right. Are you listening? For my thoughts are not your thoughts. God said I don't think like them. That's why God got to make a preacher who don't think like the world. That's right. Come on. But Hallelujah. even when God sent a preacher, he got to stay in God counsel. That's right. If he don't stay in God counsel, he also his mind will start slipping. That's right. Glory to God to the world. But if they had stood in my hand, Give me the book of Jeremiah, Jer please. Jeremiah chapter 23. We'll start at verse 21. Listen. I have not sent these prophets. Ah, Hallelujah. Ah, 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 ah. Hallelujah. I haven't sent these messengers. Yet they ran. What? Yet they ran. You see these men all out here filling pulpits, churches, and little churches, big churches, mega churches, meeting in their home, having podcasts, sitting on the side of their tubs. <laughs> That's right. God, man, he broadcasts in all kind of places. Amen. But the Lord said, I have not sent these prophets. Many of you go to church on Sunday just because it is Sunday. It is Sunday. That's true. Or you go to church on Saturday just because it is Saturday. Right. And yet in your heart, you're not ready to make a change. That's right. You're not ready to break off your sins. That's right. You're not ready to even make an attempt to come up to the requirements that God has. You know what scripture says, what do the Lord require, require, of, require thee? of thee? What did he say? I have not sent these prophets. But what? Yet they reign. Oh, they're running too. Oh, yes. They're running. I have not spoken to them. What? I have not spoken to them. No viewers. Your chapter and verse again. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 21. When these men come to you with these Houdini prophecies. Yeah. Houdini. And these Houdini visions. That's right. That's men right. they get up and prophesy in this robotic tone voice. That's right. Like it's Siri. Siri. Come on, Siri. <laughs> Come on, boy. I we was in the kitchen one day and, and uh Ernie, my son, he reminded me so much of my uh, brother Rick. Wonderful. Cut up all the time. He said, Daddy, I want you to hear something. I said, what are you up to now? He said, Siri, speak in tongue. <laughs> I, I wasn't prepared for that. And he, 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 he was on his phone, and that robot said, speaking in tongue. I was like, what? I had to do like Logan. Come on! <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it. My oh, Lord. <laughs> I didn't think such a thing. <laughs> yeah, you understand. My Lord. Well, even Siri is a hypocrite. <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. That's right. But just that simple. He spoke to Siri and Siri responded. That, do you know that type of action go on yeah. in the false churches? That's right. The preachers will tell you when I count to three. Speak in tongue. One, two, three, and everybody gets started. Yeah. Let the all on Bob Bevins right. down at the farm. That's right. Like a group of turkeys. That's right. God says, I have not I have not prophets. sent these prophets. Yet they ran. Yet they're ready. I have not spoken to them. I didn't talk to them. Yet they prophesied. Now, this is scary. Yes, it yeah. is. This is why being scripturally educated is important. Yeah. That's right. The Lord said, I haven't spoken to them yet. Yet they prophesy. Yet they are talking. That's right. This is why I've been scripturally informed, yeah. scripturally updated, yeah. scripturally taught, taught. So you can recognize what is God, what is not. That's right. Because people in the 
church choirs are jumping, robes are swaying, that don't mean God is in that house. No, no. The foundation of truth is God. That's right. And even Satan tells truth and lie. And lie. Listen. But if they, I have not sent these prophets, yet they reign. Yet they reign. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesy. But, what? but if they had stood in my counsel. God said if they had stood in my counsel. Not just in and out. Yeah. That, that's right. Stay in it. Stay in it. Wonderful. God wants this preacher take his counsel, that's take right. his advice, take his instructions. That's right. If they have stood in, in my counsel, if they have stood in God's word, that's why nobody won't get us out of it. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Lord, it take God, nobody. Nobody. Oh, they trying too, brother. They trying. Preachers have tried through the years, and some have just gave up. Amen. I would have made a comment one man made on the message last week. He said, this has to be the most sickening man I have ever watched. Oh. And yet he keep watching. Amen. Why? Because this message is the only message over any form of media. Yeah. That big man back up. That's right. You know, from the hood, you have a lot of men that sell wolf tickets. That's right. But there's somebody in your hood that can make you back up. That's right. This message make you back up. Oh, yes. Make you stink deeper than you ever thought before. That's right. Make you think about life and also make you think about death. That's right. Make you realize that there is a God even if you're an atheist. Amen. Make you understand that it has to come a time in your life, sometime, that you're going to have to put that bottle down. That's right. You're going to have to change your lifestyle. That's right. That's right. You're going to have to stop living like you's a barbarian. Oh, yes. Shooting and killing and raping and stealing. Yeah. And what do you get out of it? That's right. But prison. That's it. And then when you go to prison, you want to blame some white man for putting you in there. That's right. The white man is in there just like the black man. That's right. That's right. What got you in prison? Got you. Sin. Oh, yes. What keep you in prison? Sin. Sin. That's right. That's the truth of it. That's right. Not a black man. Not a white man. No. Sin. Oh, yes. Are you getting what I'm telling you? I have not sent these prophets yet they reign. I have not sent these messengers yet. They ran. And they all out here by the number. I thank God for the truth of God. Yes. Wonderful. And the force. Driving force that's behind it. That's right. Kicking down doors. Kicking down. Glory to God, I says kicking down doors. Oh, yes. Driving force. Oh, yes. That's behind it. That's right. State to state, city to city, village to village, country to country. Yeah. Stand in God's council. That's right. And when you stand in God's council, what would you do? And have caused my people. Have called my people. My people. To hear my word. That's all I'm interested in. That's it. Is to get the world to hear God's word. God's words. And this is what God promised. Then they should have turned them. Oh, yes. From their evil way. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. On one broadcast, I was commenting how we have ex-drug dealers and drug lords and ex-thugs and ex-prostitutes and ex-murderers, ex-rapists. All that in the church. All that. One man commented and said, if all that is in the church, it don't need for me to go to church. Really? Really? Jesus said, come unto me. That's right. Jesus want everything to come to him. That's right. Yeah. No, you not. No, you not. That, that the unrighteous shall not inherit the, the kingdom of God. Shall not inherit God's kingdom. Be not deceived. Don't be tricked. Neither fornicators. Neither fornicators. Nor idolaters. Nor adulterers. Nor, adulterers, nor, adulterers, nor feminine. Yes. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Yes. Nor thieves. Nor covetous. Nor drunkards. Nor revilers. Nor extortioners. Yes. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. I know I, and such were some of you. Yes. Hallelujah. And you bear in mind. Pastor Paul was preaching to the church. 
Jack. That's right. You better give Captain Verse for this. First Corinthians chapter 6. Oh, uh, it makes me feel good when I'm able to say the same thing. That's right. We have ex-murderers, ex-thieves, ex-extortioners, ex-lesbians, ex-homosexual. We have all that. That's right. That's right. Right in church. Right in church. Now let's get Bible for it. First Corinthians chapter 6, we'll start at verse 9. Ex-blue-collar criminals. Amen. Ex-white-collar criminals. That's right. Ex-no-collar criminals. <laughs> Amen. And we got some criminals that still come, and I'm working all working their on criminal them. behavior. That's right. They're going to have to put my nightstick down. Wonderful. I'm going to keep my nightstick here. Oh, yeah. That's right. And then I sleep with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That way if I get a call, I wake up. Hello, I got my nightstick. Yes, you do. I got the word of God handed and ready to work on you. That's the truth. Glory be to God. What did he say? First Corinthians chapter 6, what? Verse 9. Give chapter and verse again. First Corinthians chapter 6, we'll start at verse 9. Listen. No, you not. Don't you know that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? That the unrighteous mm -hmm. shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Shall not go back with the Lord. Be not deceived. Don't you be tricked. Neither for the case. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Let them come tell you once saved, always saved. Don't be tricked. That's right. If they tell you right here is heaven, don't believe a word of it. Don't be tricked. That's right. If that's they right. tell you you can have your heaven right here, that's a lie. That's a lie. Don't be tricked. Be not deceived. Glory to God. God warns us. That's right. Don't be deceived. Neither fornicators. Neither fornicators. No idolaters. Idolatrous. No adulterers. No adulterers. No, nor effeminate. No effeminate. Feminine. Now, effeminate comes in different categories. Right. A man who's not gay mm -hmm. can have effeminate tendencies because. He may be raised by his mother. Right. That's right. Or he was around women more than he was around men. That's true. So therefore, the feminine character of the woman rubbed off on him because he had more exposure to that character than a masculine character. That's right. right. That's right. right. Amen. Amen. And yet he's straight as an arrow. Yeah. That's true. Wonderful. Are you listening? That's right. Then you had the feminine, well, men, they love men. <laughs> That's right. And you have that kind, they love, they love men. And then you have some men that love men who have no feminine character at all. At all. That's true. They stroll, they got their head on backward. They That's just right. broke back mountain. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. But remember, the Apostle Paul is preaching to the church. To the church. To the church and showing us what those in the church used to be. That's right. A lot of folk don't know what this, they don't even know the scripture even exists. First Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Come to ask another individual to write me when they heard me preach this and say, that's why I don't go to church, because all that is there. That, that's the more reason to come. That's right. Huh? That's right. You mean to tell me you're not going to go to a rehabilitation center? To be helped with your alcohol because there's a lot of ex alcoholics there or alcoholics there that got the same problem. That's right. no reason. That's no reason. You go there to work on yourself. That's right. You go to that drug center to work on yourself. Amen. Come on. Wonderful. Well, you mean to tell me, Pastor Dennis, people like that come to church? I oh. thank God they do. They let me know the gospel is working. That's right. Yeah. Amen. The gospel. It's not falling in vain. Amen. We're going to take God is working it's, here. It's working. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. First Corinthians 6 and verse I 9. I go to an area and the bloods and the crypts come in. Yeah. And go down the water in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. I remember I was in Sacramento, California. Yeah. Auditorium was packed. There was a Sunni Muslim there. Had on his whole Muslim clothes. And including the kufi. When I asked him to want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, before I even got the words out of my mouth, he was the first one to jump up in the auditorium. Yeah. Went down in the water in his Muslim gear. Yeah. Amen. Came to me at the service. He said, I've been waiting on you for a whole year. Wow. He said, I've been waiting on you for a whole year. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. It's not falling in vain here. Oh, no. Over to God is not Pastor Jenna that's drawing you. God is drawing you. That's right. 
Jesus said it can't be done unless my Father or unless the Spirit of God draw you. Draw. Yeah? That's right. That the, the Holy Word of God have drawing power. That's right. Doesn't matter who you are, your position in life, no. you will never be able to outrun God. Oh, no. And as soon as you young and middle-aged and you out here that shooting and murdering and lying and acting like a fool, you will never be able to outrun God. That's right. There are many athletes that are millionaires that are watching. Yeah. We had NBA players come here. Yes. Yeah. Jordan knew what he was, got all excited. Yeah, yeah did you see something such and such? I said, I just saw someone tall. <laughs> and know who they were. Amen. All I know, they was a tall human being. Tall human. But we have NBA players that watch this. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. NFL players watch it. Amen. Hockey players watch it. Sports Amen. athletes watch it. Yes. You wealthy sports athletes. Yeah. You have what is called spiritual advisors. Mm. Yeah. But they don't advise you spiritually. That's right. And the reason why they don't advise you spiritually because you are cutting them that check. And they are scared to tell you anything that will cut into your life. That's right. Nobody needs a spiritual advisor if he's not going to advise you the things of the Spirit of God. That's right. He just string along. That's it. Like a whole latch to a pimp. That's right. String along. That's right. So you can cut that check. And he will never put you in place for your wrong. No. Let me be your spiritual advisor. I tie Bible into you like a tight girdle on a woman. That's right. Tell you about yourself. Tell you about yourself. Amen. That's right. Tell you, put them drugs down. Yeah. Stop acting like a bum. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now you get all them 50 chains from around your neck. That's right. Stop flowing yourself. That's right. Stop acting like a wealthy ghetto rat. Amen. You got all this money? Why are you still in and out of jail? That's right. A true spiritual advisor will teach you and instruct you and will give you God's path. That's right. If they had stood in my counsel. What? If they had stood in my counsel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What the Holy Ghost said. Jeremiah 23 and 22. I wouldn't care if I was a spiritual advisor to the wealthiest man living. And That's right. every time I advise him, he gave me $5 million an hour. Amen. I'm going to pump Bible on it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's oh, right. you keep telling me that. I'm going to cut you loose. That's all right. I got to stand in God's counsel. That's right. In other words, God's counsel to me is bigger than your check. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. This is why the spiritual advisors for sport, for uh, sports athletes, yeah. they don't tell none of them the things of God. Oh, no. no. Young man come in drunk. Look, man. You're going to threaten the contract. In other words, he's telling you, I got to eat. Yeah. That's right. The spiritual advisor is pleading with you. I got to eat. That's right. Your spiritual advisor with the Bible, Bible. will tell him, one is a marker. That's right. Strong drink is raging. 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 He that is deceived thereby, you're not wise. Not wise. Do you see what I'm telling you? If they had stood in my counsel. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. If they had stood in God's counsel. And had caused my people, my people to hear my words. Praise the name of God of Abraham. That's right. Cause my people to hear my words. My words. And that's what the spiritual advisors supposed to do for to all do. you athletes. Right. Is to tell you God's word. That's not right. his opinion. Not his idea. And not the Patronize your ignorance. That's right. That's right. Not to go along with your mess. No. Because he's scared to say something because you're an authority for check writing. That's what would I care? That's right. You're an authority for check writing? God is in authority for hell sending. That's right. 
Now, who do you think I'm going to bend to? Amen. Huh? But if they had stood in my council, if they had stood in my council, in God's council, they had caused my people to hear my words. My people to hear my words. That's why I've got my mouth open so wide and so bold. Oh, yes. And not intimidated by anybody about anything. That's right. Because God counsel That's right. is the perfect counsel. Amen. God's counsel Amen. is the best counsel. That's right. Even you that get offended at this hardcore in your face preaching, always remember God's counsel, God's counsel. is the best counsel. That's right. That's right. You may not be up to it. Yeah. You may not feel like doing it. Yeah. But it don't change the fact God's counsel, God's counsel. is the best counsel. That's right. That's right. Regardless to how weak you are right. and what struggles you have, oh, yeah. always accept God's counsel. That's right. Yeah. All right, listen. But if they had stood in my counsel, God said if they stood in it in my counsel, God counsel make a man out of you. That's it. God counsel make a woman out of you. That's right. It makes you a man that you never was. That's right. A holy man. That's right. Makes you a woman that you never was. A holy woman. Amen. Amen. Are you saying? But if they had stood in my counsel, Hallelujah. 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 Praise this great Hallelujah. If they had stood in my council, in my council, and had caused my people to hear my words, words, my people to God. hear my words, my people, that's right, to hear my words, my words, then they should have turned then them, they should have turned from their evil way. I got to tell the sports athlete, yeah, that's right, put that's your liquor right. down, that's right, get all them 30 women out your hotel room, yes. Go back home to your wife and kids. That's right. Stop making babies at all of these hoochies out here. That's right. That's God right. counsel. God's counsel. Hallelujah. You are athlete to make money? Take care of your mama. That's right. So throw your money out to these prostitutes. That's right. Fear God. That's it. Repent of your sins. Be baptized in water. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Go ahead. Hallelujah. So God can free with the Holy Ghost. That's right. God counsel. If they had stood in my counsel. I'm telling the football player. Go ahead. Run long. Go ahead. Run long. Go ahead, brother. I got scripture or something to you. That's right. I'm telling the basketball player. I'm handing it off to you. That's right. God counsel. Go ahead, man. I'm standing there. Go ahead. Like a quarterback. That's right. Acts 2 38. That's right. Acts 2 4. One Lord. One faith. One baptism. Run for God. That's right. Run. Wonderful, brother. Run, hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead. That's right. What did the Holy Ghost say? If they had stood in my counsel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Go ahead, man. If they had stood in my counsel. In God counsel. And had caused my people to hear my words. You athletes. Wonderful. You need a spiritual, holy, sanctified advisor. Advisor. Where he loved God. That's right. More than he loved your money. That's right. If he loved God more than he loved your money, then your well-being yes. is his interest. That's it. Not your wallet. That's right. Are you getting well? Hallelujah. But if they had stood oh, in my counsel, good. if they have stood in my counsel, in my counsel, and it caused my people to hear my word, then what? Then they should have turned them. Then they should have turned them. From their evil way. From your evil way. And from the evil of their doing. Let's go back to where we are. Back in Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 1. No, you better go back to Isaiah. Back back to Isaiah. I got to finish up the thoughts. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Chapter and verse, William. Isaiah chapter 55, we're at verse 8. Hallelujah. Thank For Lord. my thoughts. Everybody all right? Hallelujah. My thoughts are not your thoughts. God talking. God talking. Hallelujah. God don't think like us. No, no. no. His thoughts. A 
are perfect. That's right. His thoughts are infallible. That's right. He said, my thoughts are not your thoughts. So you want to be these modern Christians. Modern. Who just go to church on Sunday or Saturday. That's right. But you don't want to change. No. Serving God consists of a lifetime That's right. of change. change. And the churches you go to yeah. don't preach change. No, no. So you never have a mind or a heart to change, change. your ways. That's right. Let the wicked forsake his way. Do you hear this? In Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 7. Let the wicked. Let the wicked forsake his way. off. His way. And the unrighteous man his and thoughts. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. The way he thinks. And let him return unto the Lord. Wait a minute. Do what? And let him return unto the Lord. You see. Hallelujah. When you athletes had a, you had a spiritual advisor, he would advise you, you need to come to God. That's right. That's right. You out there living fast, making babies everywhere. You have these loose women that come to your hotel just to set you up. That's truth. <laughs> you young fella that's signing these big multi-million dollar contracts. Yeah. And you're nothing but a sugar daddy. That's right. To these loose women out here. That's right. So they don't mind getting pregnant by you. Yeah. Because you're going to cut that check. Oh, yeah. A true spiritual advice. A man of counsel. Uh oh. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 32. Says a man of counsel. Of advice. Will be considerate. Hallelujah. Give chapter and verse again. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 32 and verse 18. A man. A man of counsel. And that man of counsel must stand in God's counsel. That's right. Will. Will be considerate. He's going to be considerate. But a strange and but proud strange, man. Uh, but a strange. And proud and man. And arrogant man. Is not daunted with fear. He can look at you drowning. That's right. Making babies and getting high. That's right. Your spiritual advisor snorking cocaine at the same table with you. That's, that's right. That's true. You tell your spiritual advisor, hey, hey, Rip, listen, uh, I'm going out Friday night. Hmm. Well, my son, you you have a game. You have uh, right. practice. I know, Rip, but not... Uh, I'm going out Friday night. I got a heavy date, man. You know, I got the Hoochie Moo sisters, and I got the Coochie Boo sisters, and I got the Glee sisters. <laughs> That's right. Hug and Glee, they're twins. <laughs> That's right. And besides telling you, don't do it. Yeah. He'll say, well, don't overwork yourself. That's what they say. Don't overexhaust yourself. That's right. And, uh, uh, I gave you 15 minutes advice, so before you go, cut my check, please. <laughs> He's so happy. He's so happy. He wouldn't care if you drown in your own semen. That's, that's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. The world is going to hell. That's right. God said who will stand up for me? That's right. Nobody gonna stand up for God unless they love him. That's right. And God said if they love me, yeah. you will keep my commandments. That's right. Are you listening? Now the so you so-called Christian athletes yeah. who party all the weekend. Oh yeah. Go to some church on Sunday, maybe, maybe, or hold hands with your spiritual advisor with the Glee sisters. That's right. Ugh and Glee, the twins. That's right. I got that from Double D, you know. Amen. <laughs> hold hands with the hold Glee me. sisters just to have an imitation prayer. That's true. Then when an athlete die. He goes to hell. Oh, yes. 
He get ready for the second resurrection. That's right. Lost. No God, no salvation, nothing be implemented through that whole phase of being a spiritual advisor to different athletes. That's right. Not one. Not one. Do he tell repent for your wrong. That's right. Not one. Do he tell you need to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Not one. Do he tell you need to stop acting like a fool. Oh, yes. His paycheck softens his tongue. That's right. Make it softer. That's right. Where in God's power broadens and make the tongue of his messenger bold without fear. Oh, yes. Not manipulated by dollars and cents. That's right. But it is manipulated by the Holy Ghost. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. A man of counsel. A man of counsel. Of counsel. Will be considerate will be considerate but a strange and proud man strange and proud man is not daunted with fear he don't have no fear even when of himself he had done without counsel because he's walking around with no counsel right in other words he's not abiding in a counsel of the book of scriptures do nothing without advice so therefore he will not counsel the multi-millionaire athlete that's right he just say a little prayer over you. Say Tell you, word. repeat after me. Our Father, <laughs> which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our death, we forget our debtors. <laughs> Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Amen. Check, please. Check, please. <laughs> That's right. That's true. And when you leave out the door, you're like, yo, yo, thank real. Yo. And then. Right. Your girl is like, can we go? Can we go now? You're like, yeah, yeah. All right, Rab, I rap to you. I rap to you. All right, all right. He hold that check. All right. Next session, uh, uh, Sunday at three o'clock. <laughs> That's right. Looking at that check. That's right. <laughs> the spiritual advice is nothing. Nothing. But a whore for the athlete. That's it. Pay him enough money, he'll turn his back on his creator. Presents and gifts blind the eyes of the wild. The Holy Ghost said. Presents and gifts. Presents. Amen. And gifts. Blind the eyes of the wild. To all my NFL players and, and NBA players and hockey players and overseas soccer players that watch this program. Amen. What kind of spiritual advisor you have? That's right. Are you no more than a pimp for a so-called reverend? Amen. Who turned his back and a blind eye at your fast, foolish, barbaric, animalistic, untamed life? That's right. That's oh, you're listening. That's right. You make all these babies. Why? Why? Because you feel entitled? That's right. Since when did your money entitle you to rape? Yeah. Oh, yes. Since when did your money entitle you to sodomize? That's right. Since when did your money entitle you to get drunk? That's right. And to get high. Amen. 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 The love of money. That's right. It's the root We're or the all. source or the foundation of all evil. Of all evil. Of all evil. Wow, some have covered. I had no things of work on this. Amen. But I gotta move from the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Huh? Amen. You see, God gave the truth of God a program that's hitting people yeah. of all walks of life. That's right. That's right. One of the most wealthiest soccer players overseas in Europe. His name was Israel. Didn't even know the man exists until he made the paper for standing up against homosexual, homosexuality. And the press asked him, well, who is your pastor? He said, Pastor Gino Jennings in America. So, I never knew the man exists. The press reached out to us and gave me a phone 
interview. As a result of Mr. Israel standing against homosexuality, mm -hmm. it made headline news all across Europe. What we call soccer here, they call football there. Right. So, it made headline news all across social media. They put my name all on the paper. Right. And then the media started looking me up. And they went to social media and saw I was stand. Right. And one of the questions that the reporters was a man and a woman asked me, How do you feel as a result of his stand against homosexuality? He lost. The team fired him. He was the highest paid athlete in soccer in Europe. And they fired him. And they asked me, How do you feel about him being fired? And I told them in my interview, nobody stands for God without paying some kind of price. Right. Nobody. And he was willing to be fired rather than turn his back Wonderful. on God and keep getting that multi-million dollar contract. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Your so-called Christians athletes, it's time for you to be for God for real. That's right. Repent, Repent yes. of your sins. Oh, That's yeah. it. Be baptized in the water. Let all these false spiritual advisors that you have go in nothing but shirt tags. Hmm. Leaning around on you. Let them go. Let them go. Because he's not going to stand in God's counsel no. to give you good counsel. No, no. Let's go back to the foundation where we were, Williams, real quick now. Back in Isaiah chapter 55 and at verse 8. No, where we got started at. Real quick, that's the back foundation of it. The foundation of a thing is where you got started. Amen. All right. Back in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, we're at verse 3. Listen. But if our gospel be hid. Praise the great name. Amen. If our gospel. truth. The truth of the gospel. Be here. The message that Jesus gave his apostles, who was God manifested in the flesh. That's right. If you can't see it, if it's hid from you, it's hid to them. That alone. Who is be to God that are lost. In whom the God of this world. Who? In whom the God of this world. What did God do? Hath blood. Nine, the demise of mind. Of them. Which believe not. You see, your mind is blinded, so that's why you don't even think of it. That's true. Don't even give the mind the mental thought towards it like you should. That's right. What did he say, Sam? In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Yes. That's the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. That's the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is? The image of God. See, when the Bible talk about Christ was God image, it was talking about that fleshy body that was called the Son of God. That's right. The fleshy body that was called the Son of God was God's image, God's shape, God form, God fashion, and God's figure. And then God got in that figure and took that figure on and, the, and he redeemed us back to him through that form. That's right. And That's the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. Because uh, it was through the image that the glorious gospel was reached. Who is the image of God? You see that? That's, That's right. the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is the image of God should do what? Should shine unto them. The spirit of God shined its message through that image. That's right. Who is he called? That's right. And for we preach not ourselves. What? For we preach not ourselves. We're not doing this on our own. But Christ Jesus the Lord. Christ Jesus the Lord. And, and ourselves, your servants. servants. For Jesus' sake. What happened with him? For God who commanded the God. light. Amen. God. That's what, that's what God. giving this thing such a boot that's, here. That's it. God, I say. I God, say God. God who commanded the light. Who the shine of darkness. Who ordered. Who instructed, who commanded the light to shine. Out of darkness. He commanded his wisdom to shine through ignorance. That's right. That's right. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His wisdom shined through all the ignorance. Yeah. That's right. It makes ignorance back up. That's right. Make ignorance separate. Why? Yeah. Light of the gospel come through. That's right. Shine on. Hallelujah. Who would take God that shines bright. For God who commanded the light. He commanded. Amen. 
Well, he commanded his word to be preached. He was mm. giving light charge. That's right. Get on out there, shot. <laughs> That's right. So, I, That's why we don't sing the song. This little oh, light of mine. No, 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 no. Oh, insult, no. insult, insult, insult. That's right. That's right. This ain't no little light. Oh, Jesus no. said, I am the light. That's right. Eh? That's right. Not no little light. No, right. John said, I'm not that light. Oh, no. But I come to bear witness of the light. Of the not light. the little light. No, no. This uh, little light of mine. Uh, I'm going to let it shine. That's why nobody uh, can't see that you're walking with God because your light's so little. So little. So little that you can't see it at all. That's right. Mm -hmm. For God who commanded the light to shine out of Praise darkness. the name of God. God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness. Where did it hit us? Has shine in our hearts. Where did it hit us? In our hearts. That's the thing that needs to be broken. That's right. Brothers and sisters and you that are here, God want to break your heart. That's it. Let God break your heart because it's stubborn. That's right. You got a stubborn heart. You got a rebellious heart. You got a wicked heart. The Bible says the heart is the most deceitful thing and desperately wicked. That's right. That's why you need the Lord to step in and break your heart. That's and when right. God break your heart, he'll start detaching your heart yes. from those things that you love. That's right. And then he'll reconnect your heart to the things that you need, which is him. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? For God who commanded the light to shine out of God darkness. God who commanded the light to shine. Out of darkness. Out of darkness. Has shined in our hearts. Has shined in our emotions. That's right. Are you listening to me? Go ahead, man. Go ahead. God had to come shine in your emotions. Go ahead. Because we are emotionally tied to things that he don't want us to be tied to. That's right. And the light, remember, the light of God is the word of God, and the word of God also is a sword. Right. right. So the sharpness of the light come to sever the emotions of the heart so he can disconnect us from what we're tied to. That's right. Are you getting it? That's right. Wonderful. Wonderful. You're in love with that woman, that's your second wife, light of the gospel cup. Oh, yeah. Start working on your heart. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You love that joint. You love that liquor. You love those cigarettes. Yeah. You love that party. That's right. Party. That's right. You can be standing out there tired from work. Just did a 16-hour shift. Yeah. Tired, can't hardly stand up with your eyes open waiting for the bus. But the moment a car drive up, bounce with the radio, I don't care how tired you are leaning against the wall, <laughs> once that car come up, you wake up. <laughs> then when that car drive back off, that's <laughs> right. Hallelujah. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. The Holy Ghost says what? For God who commanded the light to shine on God darkness. who ordered the light to shine out of darkness. Out of darkness, who ordered his wisdom to be present That's right. in the midst of ignorance. That's right. Uh -huh. Has shined in our hearts. Shined in our hearts to, to give us. To give the light of the, the light knowledge of the glory of God. Or the knowledge of the glory of God. Or the, the greatness of God. In the face of Jesus Christ. That's how he done it. That's right. He made a body. Then that body took on the name of the spirit that was in it. Right. That's why he said, I come in my father's name. That's right. His glory shines through that body. His name shines through that body. His presence and power shine through that body. His wisdom shines through there. And he brought, he drew them all to him. That's right. In other words, the body was bait for creation to come to. That's right. That's why the body's coming along and say, hey, no man come to the Father except by me. That's right. I'm the door. That's right. If you want to get to the Spirit, you got to accept what I do first. Hallelujah. Man. Hallelujah. What is it, son? To give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God to in the face of Jesus. To do what? To do what? To give the light. To give, give the, light. the light. To give the light. That's it. Man. To give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God. In the face of Jesus Christ. Why? But we have this treasure in earthen vessels. Here it is. Hallelujah. Treasure. You have, you have to lease. You got millions in the bank. <laughs> signing contracts. You get bonus for bonus, signing bonuses. That's right. But yet you don't have no treasure. It's treasure. Treasure. You have what you got can perish. That's right. <laughs> That's right. But this treasure right here. This treasure. When heaven and earth pass away. Yeah. This paper will burn up. Oh, yes. But the word won't. That's right. You get that? That's right. 
man. Heaven and earth pass away. away. This physical book yeah. is going to burn up. Oh, yes. But the word won't. The word won't. I want to say, well, how is that, Pastor Janet? The Bible says God's word is forever settled. Settled in heaven. In heaven. In heaven. Flames can't touch it. That's right. Well, Pastor Jenny, why can't flame touch it? Because God is the Word. He's the Word. And Genesis 1 and 1, and Pastor said in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. God is the Word. That's right. That means He's a God of His Word. Oh, yes. God's Word is God's speech. That's it. All right. But we have this treasure in earthly vessels. And earthly vessels. That the that excellency, the excellency of, the of the power. May be of God. May be of God. And not of us. That's why we don't glory in ourselves. Hmm. The excellency of the power is all in God. All in God. And not in us. All right, you that are here, it's time for you to get on God's side now. You've watched us faithfully over social media, on television, on your phone, in your car, at the job, behind your desk. Track the trailers. Watch us by the thousands. <laughs> I get thousands of letters from track the trailers just, just writing. Writing. I was in Texas one day, and there was a motorcycle gathering. And uh, men from different motorcycle clubs, leather jackets and all the leather pants over their jeans and whatnot, and the different club names on their back. So I was getting out the car, about to go in, and some of the motorcycle fellas said, Yo! I look. Hey, you, Gino Jennings? All, all covered in leather. I said, Yeah. That's right. I said, How did you know? These are motorcycle clubs. They say we watch it. They came up and shook my hand. I, I, I wasn't like a lot of these. You no, know, they get so hard. Oh, praise, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I didn't do that. They were like, yo, Gino, what's up? I was like, what's that? I was saying, everything is everything. They were like, man, we didn't know you was in town. If we didn't know you was in town, we would have been there. I said, now you know. Come on in. Wonderful. Motorcycle club watching it. Yeah. Wonderful. We was coming off coming home from church one night and uh, a few years ago in the summer. And I came down Lansdowne Avenue and uh, there was an ice cream store. They had a big screen outside. And I thought the people just gathered because they like ice cream. Big old screen outside. They was all standing out there licking, watching the Truth of God broadcast. <laughs> Black, white, Asian, Hispanic, short, tall, fat, skinny, everything. Wonderful. Ice cream running down the head, looking. Shaking the head. <laughs> Boy, that God, we got something good for you to lick and eat. Oh, yeah. Bible said, taste the Lord. Tis good. Give me Acts 38, William. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. All right, son. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Then Peter, the apostle of the Lord and Savior. Amen. Said to the people, Repent. You see, God wants you to repent. You that are here. God want to God want to get you off the streets. Oh, yeah. You need God in your life because your life is a mess, and you know it is. Let's go. It's a mess. You need God in your life. Pastor Jennings, I know what you're saying is right, but it's hard. I agree it's hard. Oh, yes. But notice you never have to debate or think over or negotiate within yourself to do wicked. That's right. Yeah. You're going to do it gladly. That's right. Your friend call you. Yo, Cynthia, is this you, shorty? Yeah, you going to that jam? You going to that jam that party house? Come on. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't going. I had a long, come on, come on, come on, Cynthia, let's go. All right, Shorty, but I ain't got no way. I'll pick you up. That's right. Yeah. Shorty, slim, fat, block. That's right. Leave it to Beaver and hoof feet. What? <laughs> All of them come. That's right. Blast and radio coming up, just coming up the street. Yeah. And all of them in the car, just leaning from one eight to the other, to the music. Yeah. You go tired. Oh, yeah. And next thing you know, somebody slipped something in your drink. Yeah. Yeah. You don't remember nothing. Oh, yeah. The very ones that picked you up who you thought was friends That's ran right. a train on you. That's right. Yeah. And 
They say I shouldn't say these things. I ain't paying you no mind. No. This is real life preaching here. That's right. Your very friends you smoke with, get high with. Yes. Set you up. Yeah. Friend you had sex with, you thought he or she loved you. Yeah. And they had sex with you. First they bet it. Yeah. Amongst the other friends. Thousand dollars a head. That's right. They all got together. Hey, yo, man, you see that? Ooh, yeah, you know, you know how? Yeah, man. Listen, I think you thousand dollars, I tapped that before you did. Yeah. Am I right, I said? That's right. That's right, Jerry. That's right. A thousand dollars? Oh, I'll take that. I'll take that. And next thing you know, about three guys is nice to you. Mm. Racing to your womb. Race into you. Race into and the one first one tag. You in? That's right. Then he collect his money. Yeah. In other words, you became nothing but a wager. That's true. Mm. I hope you young hell bound wild things hear the old troublemaker. Preach it. I'm laboring to shake some sense into your CBS head. That's right. I'm gonna shake some sense in your wall green head of hair. Amen. Trying to shake some sense into your dollar store fingernails. Yeah. Go ahead. You know, for most men, you're nothing but a wager. That's it. That's right. Use a wound bet. Hmm. My Lord, my Lord. Some go as far as betting who can the first one get you pregnant. That's right. This is how low and hell the serving society is. That's right. So when the Bible says in Acts 2, 38, what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. 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 That's it. God wants you to feel some conviction. Oh, yes. Be sorry. Be sorry. Uh -huh. Because you're wicked. That's right. And he said that the wicked forsake. His way. That's why they want me off the air. Oh, yes. They want you off, Pastor. Because the devil ministers are all one accord. That's right. They are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Devil ministers on one accord. Got their own wicked song. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Don't expose the wicked. <laughs> That's their song. <laughs> Expose the wicked. That's right. It'll make them see us. <laughs> Don't expose the wicked. That's right. It will make them fuss. Amen. If they see what we are, we won't have a car. <laughs> Don't expose the wicked. <laughs> they will see us. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's the false prophet song. That's the false prophet. <laughs> Remember that. Amen. Don't expose the wicked. Don't That's where the preachers are. The preachers will not preach against your sin because there's too many of you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Too many of you. Amen. Giving millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars just to go to hell broke. That's right. Don't you know the word of God is supposed to be preached to help your family? That's right. Help raise your children right. Oh, yes. Bring structure in a fallen home. That's right. Put a board in the back of these men. Amen. Keep these men out of prison. Yeah. Get these women off the street. That's right. Hallelujah. That's what the word of God does. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wonderful. No, they go to these motivational crooks <laughs> because he or she motivate them to remain a sinner. Remain. That's right. And then when they look at this message, they say, "You see that? It don't take all that. It take every and all we gave you was Bible. Was the word? That's all we gave you was Bible. That's it. In the Word of God. That's right. I have a hiding place right, right there. That's right." Then Peter said to them. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. 
and be baptized every one of you. Be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission to of sins. To get your sins washed away. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Many Ghost. Many get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. They get the right baptism and then they leave church and never come again. Go right back out there in the street or go back to your false religion. Do you not know you still will go to hell you like you go. never was baptized at all? That's right. You can't come obey God, then turn your back on him and think you won't suffer a penalty for it. That's right. And then you want God to stay with you and you won't stay with him? Yes. You leave God, God gonna leave you. That's right. That once save, always save is trash. Right? And the Spirit of God came upon yeah. you. That's right. I said that once save, always save is a religious trash teaching. Yes, it it's is. It's deception. Right. There is no such thing as once save, always save. Once save, always save. You leave God, yeah. God going to leave you. That's right. Let me give you a Bible for it. Second Chronicles chapter 15, we'll start at verse 1. Second Chronicles, the 15th chapter. We're starting at verse 1. Get at verse 1. And the Spirit of God came upon Azariah, the son of Odin. Yes. And he went out to meet Asa and said unto him, Hear ye me, Asa, and, Hear all, me, Judah, Asa Benjamin, and all Judah, and Benjamin. What did he say? The Lord is with you. The Lord. Look at the terms. Amen. Here, chapter and verse again. Second Chronicles chapter 15, now we're at verse 2. The Lord is with you. While ye, while. While ye be. While. While. The Lord is with you. While. During the time. Ye be with him. You're with him. And. And if you seek him, if you seek him, he will be found of you. He'll let you find him. But what, 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 what? But if you forsake yeah. him, amen. When you forsake a thing, you leave it. That's right. If you leave him, he will forsake you. He leaving you. Oh yes. So Pastor Dennis, I got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. I went back out there doing wrong. Amen. I don't feel as though it's right for me to come to church. That's where the devil make a fool out of you. That's right. Why you don't say that when you go to a party? Yeah. Well, I went to a party that got drunk. I don't feel like it's right for me to go back next week. <laughs> Amen. Why you don't say that? No. You don't even you don't even say that after you get burnt. That's true. That's true. I had sex with her. Oh man, I got burnt with syphilis. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you'll go right back with somebody else on Saturday and get chlamydia. <laughs> That's right. That's true. You get sis and the clap. That's right. Amen. You're going to get sipped from one, the clap from the other, Mr. Herbie from the other, HIV from the other, and AIDS from the other. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Just collecting your uh, various offerings. <laughs> Amen. But yet when you repent of your sins and get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, yeah. you don't want to stay with God. No. So you use your sins as an excuse for staying out there. Uh-uh. That's true. You don't stay with God. That's right. God not going to stay with you. That's right. That's if, Jesus, if I do wrong after I baptize, what should I do? You got to repent. You ain't got to be baptized again. No. Because if you be baptized again, you know how you stay in water too long, you get wrinkled. Yeah. You got baptized every time you sin, I live in water. Yes, you would. My wife got to bring me a slide, me a tray of food. <laughs> right right in the baptismal room. That's right. Because by the time you change clothes, before that day is over, you're going to be driving right back. Yes, you will. You'll be Aquaman. Perhaps. I'll be Aquaman. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, be Aquaman or Marine or Boy. Marine boy. <laughs> After you repent of your sins and are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and you sin after that, God just wants you to come back to him and truly repent for those yeah. sins. That's it. Always, once you repent of your sins and you are baptized, don't ever allow that repentant heart to leave. That's right. Never in your lifetime. Yeah. Because you're going to find yourself repenting much. Oh, yes. For many things you think, many things you want to do, the intents of your heart, God knows. God knows. The very intents of your heart. That's right. Anybody here want to get it right? Who's scared to go to hell and burn throughout eternity? Ooh. Anybody want to be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ the right way? Stand on your feet if you want it.
one glory to God. One. Wonderful. All of you that are standing, follow that brother right there. All of you sisters, come on to the front. All of you sisters and brothers, come on around to the front. Don't you see? Don't you see? Glory to God. He said, I'll make you fishes of men. Hallelujah. Didn't you say so? Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, you'll catch men. So oh, beautiful yeah. to see the men and women. That's right. Constantly. This is going on all around the world right. in the truth of God. Doesn't matter what country. That's right. Doesn't matter what city. Oh, no. Doesn't matter what state. Oh. Amen. People are hearing the message yeah. and running to the churches all around the world. Yeah. I want to be baptized. I want to be baptized. I want to be baptized. Wonderful. One man wrote me and said, Pastor Jennings, I want to be baptized. Can I baptize myself? I had to tell him no. No. Another man wrote me and said, he want to be baptized, but I asked, want to be baptized, stand on your feet. He said, he stood up in his house. He stood up in his house and he went to his bathroom and filled his tub up. And he said he got in it and covered himself. <laughs> Wrote me and told me about it. I had to call him. I, call him. I said, no, brother, somebody got to baptize you. You can't baptize yourself. That's right. He said, well, Pastor Jennings, I don't mean no uh, uh, no disrespect, but where is it at in the Bible? Because you told me he got to have Bible for it. I said, all right, I'm going to give you Bible where someone got to baptize you. Right. And I got Jesus and John the Baptist, John the and Jesus Baptist. told John, does it become us? Yeah. To fulfill all righteousness, us. us. Amen. Jesus was the candidate and John was the one that That's baptized right. That's right. I said that what you've done been fulfilled was right. That's right. I said you were you was a floater, a tough floater. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Well, that goes to show you how bad they want to get right. Oh yes. Human family, understand this. The truth of God's message is a gift. Yes, it is. It's a gift to you from God. That's what it is. That's right. This is why out of all the men in the world, you'll find so many yeah. taking little messages and targeting the truth of God. Pastor Gino Jennings this, Pastor Gino Jennings that. Out of all these preachers in the world, they always attack the truth because the truth is a tsunami. That's right. Amen, amen. And these old little gnats out here, it's like a gnat standing before an elephant to fight them. That's right. And the elephant sucked them up. And the gnat's still out there waiting on them. <laughs> And then that is up in his trunk and don't even realize it. Amen. All right, world, well, to all my brothers and sisters again throughout Europe, thank you for your understanding. God willing, we'll make plans to visit you in the fall. To all the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ around the world and to all guests and visitors, remember, prepare yourself now because the hotel buildings are disappearing in Greensboro. They're coming under the blanket of the truth of God. I mean, thousands are just Wonderful. pouring in there, Wonderful. making their reservations for July 14th through the 17th. Be there, all you athletes, NBA players, football players, basketball players, soccer players, hockey players, boxers, martial artists. You come on here. Come on, come on. I got a martial arts stand. Don't worry, I, I listen. I got a, I, 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 I got I got a stone here <laughs> that you can hit and it'll never break. That's right. And, that's right. Amen. Come on. Come on. Come on, so I can hit toss you with scripture. Sure. Amen. Amen. This is the greater thing. This will outlast creation. Oh yes. And this is why God makes me preach it like we do to bring all humanity to check the reality of life. Heaven and earth will pass away. God's word will not pass. May God keep you. May God preserve you. May God be with you. Come on back at 5 o'clock. Come back at 5 o'clock. Let us all stand. Elder Williams will close us out in prayer. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you and praise you once again for this day. We thank you, Father God, for blessing us to hear the message, the words of truth. My God, now bless us not only to be hearers, but bless us to be doers of thine word. Remember those, my God, that desire to go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless and help them that they may also receive the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. 
My God, remember every soul that's here today. Father God, we thank you so much for your goodness and kindness and mercy that you show upon us day after day and night after night. Bless us, my God, as we come back to the next service. And no hurt, harm, or danger would fall upon us. We do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.